Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I want to discuss some screenshots we got of an upcoming feature to Final Fantasy XIV, the Deep Dungeon. Reminder, Deep Dungeon does not come with patch 3.3 .3 on June 7th, but instead comes in patch 3.35, probably within the first couple of weeks of July. Now, there are a ton of screenshots, and as you can tell, they're, well, I've got a lot going on here when it comes to uh, my recording setup, but Final Fantasy XIV themselves actually posted a little preview of the Deep Dungeon, which I have off-centered a little bit just because I wasn't really prepared to actually show it on the screen. So, uh, the Deep Dungeon is a new challenge that's going to be coming out. Uh, you're going to start at level 1 when you enter the dungeon, and you're going to be able to find equipment upgrades and uh, go through a randomly generated dungeon with multiple floors in order to eventually get to the end and obtain your reward. Now, to be clear, when I say you'll start at level 1, I don't mean level 1 within the Deep Dungeon. I mean your character will be reset to level 1 upon entering. Now, you'll only be under these level restrictions while, you'll, while you are in there, but also keep in mind that all that gear that you would be wearing from outside of the dungeon, it really has no effect on how powerful you are inside of the dungeon. So, that I-240 gear, not worth a damn. That's why they're probably wearing Artifact 1 armor in most of these screenshots. Now we get this screenshot right here, which is basically the screenshot I want to talk about, but unfortunately, I don't really like the quality of it on the Square Enix site, so I've decided to pull up Square Portal's website, who also had a bunch of screenshots. Uh, Nova Crystallis also had some screenshots as well. Looks like a lot of the media sites got, uh, got a hand of some of the screenshots that'll probably be on the press site for Square Enix soon. But they had a ton of things on uh, the Aquapolis, just again, showcasing some of the rooms, some of the enemies. They also had... Um, the animal weapon, just showcasing these again, which we'll be finding out more about on Tuesday. Uh, Hildebrand, a short screenshot, the Fields of Glory, Shatter. We also had the flower pots. And then here at the bottom, kind of squeezed in here at the bottom, just above that legal zoom ad, are three images regarding Deep Dungeon. Now, let's open these up and get a closer look at them, shall we? All right, there we go. So, first of all, I want to say no, this is not some sort of fan mock-up of the content. No, this is the actual art that is in-game for the content, at least in its current form. So, in the top left hand of the screen, you can see that the Deep Dungeon info is there. Your job, your level, a little pixel art of your job, uh, as well as certain values and points that you have that you'll have to keep in mind. So keep in mind, 1,235, that number, is the total amount of experience needed to reach the next level. How do I know that? Well, look at the bottom of the screen. He's 10,765 out of 12,000. So that's experience to next level. Also, your equipment. You have your weapon. Now, you'll notice that their weapons are actually glowing in here. This is a special weapon that you get from inside of the deep dungeon itself, the Palace of the Dead. And uh, when you actually complete the dungeon, from what I recall, you'll be able to use these as glamour. So this is not like your relic weapon or anything like that. And if its power actually does anything outside of the deep dungeon, I actually don't know. Uh, we'll have to find that out when the content comes out or when we get to E3 in a couple of weeks, since there's going to be a live letter on deep dungeon then. Uh, so you can see that based on items you find in chests and enemies you defeat, you get more powerful weapons, your armor uh, gets more powerful, and on top of that you're given a plethora of special items. Now these special items can do things from transform you into enemies or turn enemies into, uh, into little tiny enemies. It can strengthen you, it can weaken enemies. It can do a lot of things. As you can see there are, let's see, 6, 12, there are 16 different types of items that you can find and use to help get through Deep Dungeon in itself. Now on top of that you'll be able to find things such as buffs or debuffs along those, see the little, uh, the pillar on the right hand side just under the minimap? Uh, those pillars are actually scattered throughout the dungeons and when you press them they can, they can power you up, they can make you weaker, they can do anything along those lines. Apologies for Kefka. Apparently I just got a follow over on Twitch and I don't usually close those between streams. On top of that, you'll have to do things like find keys, open treasure boxes, and kill every enemy in your way. Now, ultimately, this is a bigger... I, I didn't expect it to look this good. I, I did not have high hopes for Deep Dungeon. I, I guess I wasn't going into it too optimistically because of Diadem and Lords of Verminion, the last two very new pieces of content that they incorporated. So, But this is good. This is like very Dungeoneering-esque. I get vibes from older RPGs uh, when I look at these kind of things. And on top of that, it's always nice to have the pixel art. You know that Final Fantasy loves its nostalgia, so having a little pixel art definitely feels good, man. 
So on top of that, the only real complaint that I have about all of what we're seeing right here, and you'll notice they're on the 21st, uh, the 21st floor, by the way, is that the, all the rooms seem to be boxes, which it doesn't really bother me that much. It would just be cool to see them do more randomly generated, like, actual environments, like maybe not a bunch of rooms that are boxes. But ultimately, I want it to be functional, I want it to be fun. And I guess with all of the resources they probably have to dedicate to make it fully randomly generated, it would probably take a lot longer for us to get this piece of content. And I'm someone who's always said they, they need to make sure they're being smart with the way that they do their, uh, or the way that they uh, allocate their resources. I think using the square rooms and then following what's pretty much the most basic of random generation in video games is probably for the best. So that way they don't go over the top like they did with Diadem and create a whole new zone and then say, oh, we're going to create three whole new zones. And then it just goes to, it just, and then maybe if it's not received well, you just, you've used so much, so much in order to make it good. Uh, so I actually think it was a smart idea for them to go along those lines. I'd also like to point out that they are level 33 and they are using all abilities that are from level 33 and below. So I am actually thinking that while you're in this dungeon, you probably will. Uh, there was some debate on whether or not you get to keep your high level abilities when you got synced down to level 1. Just because of the nature of Deep Dungeon, it's not exactly like a fate. Or, uh, or another four-man dungeon, but it seems that, no, you actually can only use the abilities that are within the applicable level of you. So if you're level 33, you're only using abilities at the level 33. Sorry, Lancers, the first 26 levels are going to be phenomenal for you. I'd also like to point out the rate at which they gain levels. They are level 33, and they are on the 21st floor. This means that you will probably be gaining experience points pretty friggin' fast. I have to imagine you'll be gaining them really fast, because it's not like you're gaining a level of floor. It looks like they're gaining anywhere from uh, about a level and a half a floor so uh, this will probably be beatable in one session as long as it may be I'm curious to see how long that that one session takes because uh, that is definitely gonna be fun now if we look at some other screenshots you can also get some other ideas of some of the things like this is the bard uh, shooting another enemy you can see another sort of random room layout with the keys and everything uh, but I think the last screenshot has what I want. Yes. So one thing to look in the bottom left, it lets you know what the item effects are. But in the top right, you, it also shows you what debuffs you're currently afflicted by. Now, debuffs can happen when it, when you walk into certain rooms or when you walk into uh, or when, a, when you use an item or when a trap is triggered. Any of those things can cause it. It looks like he is a maximum health minus at this point. So just I, there's a, there's I like that there seems to be a lot going on here to Deep Dungeon. This seems like a flushed out piece of content, flushed out. Ha, fleshed out piece of content and uh, on top of that this uh, screenshot's actually in English so you can see that his weapon is called the ether pool arm and his armor is called the ether pool armor so a uh, lot going on here curious to see how it all pans out because this is another one of their attempts at new content content that's never been done before in Final Fantasy 14 so I wish them the best of success for our sake and for their sake. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about these screenshots for Deep Dungeon. Are you looking forward to the new piece of content in 3.35? And if you are, let me know in the comment section of the video below. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care.